Hi everybody, I'm Amy and today I'm going to be over dyeing this yarn with some Purple Pop from Dharma, a trading company. Now this yarn I did dye originally and it's not, not what I had hoped for. There are some really pale patches there and the, the black isn't, it's, it's more of a charcoal-y black, char charcoal-y colour than a black. So I'm hoping that the Purple Pop will make the the charcoal colour really dark and there'll be little patches of paler purpley colour in here. Since I'm only using 10 grams of yarn I've only dissolved the tiniest amount of this beautiful purple dye in water. It was only it was 0 0.06 grams of dye for this 10 grams. Now I've heard that purple pop can be quite notorious about completely exhausting so that's why I've only done the tiniest bit. Now this water is at just below a boil there's about a litre in there but the amount doesn't matter too much so it's just enough for the yarn to be able to move around in and there is one teaspoon of of acid of vinegar in there so I'll just add this this the yarn I'm using today is uh, 10 grams of four ply superwash merino touche silk and silver stellina. Now, just drops that in there. Okay, now, so I'm just going to leave that at just below a boil for about 10 minutes and we'll come back to see if all of the, all of the dye has bonded to the yarn. Right. It's been an extra 15 minutes and you can see there is still quite a lot of colour left in this. Um, I've added a little bit more vinegar, but I'm going to add some more yarn. Now this is another 10 grams of 4-ply Superwash Merino Silver Stellina Tusha Blend. Um, this is dry. The yarn I did I put in originally had been pre-soaking for about 20 minutes. Uh, this shouldn't make much of a difference. I'll put that in there, see if it can get any more of the extra colour. Uh, and I'll leave this for, it's going to leave it for another 20 minutes I think. And then I'm going to turn it off and give everything a chance to cool down. And hopefully that extra, that extra mini skein will absorb more colour more of the colour, more of the dye, and uh, yeah, we should have some very pretty yarn by the end of this. And here is our finished purple yarn. And uh, they haven't, the, the purple hasn't turned out the way I thought it would, but I'm still very happy with what we got. I thought, this is, this is what we started with, I thought that the purple would turn the charcoal really really dark and then we've got these pale patches I thought that uh, it would be a sort of paler purple popping through there so I thought we might get a more tonal yarn but uh, what we've got here this this one is pretty solid and uh, this is the second skein of yarn that I, I put in about halfway through this is a bit more patchy you've got some pale darker patches there some paler there that'll just be how it was put in the pot there wasn't as much room for it to move around in, so that's why there are some patches that are darker and some that are lighter. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I aim to produce a new video every Monday. Thank you so much for watching.